Hi everybody, I know you're all excited to work on this daylight duration project. Um, this video is to help you out with the Google Sheets aspect of the thing, entering in data, and getting the graph done. Okay, so as you can see here, I've already started plotting or adding data in for a third city, Catskill, New York. I entered in the latitude and longitude. Notice that it's at 42.2 degrees north, 73.7 degrees west, so it's only a couple hours north of the city. Um, it's a place I like to visit a lot, I have a house up there. Okay, so when you're entering your data, you have to make sure you choose either degrees north or degrees south. It cannot be both north and south at the same time. It doesn't make any sense. All right. As you can see, I've already added in most of my data here. I just need to include data for December 21st, 2020. Uh, remember, this data is coming from timeanddate.com. It's the easiest place to find this. And I provided that link to you in the directions. Okay, so timeanddate.com is going to look like this. You're going to put your place, your city name here. Hit enter. You should be able to find it pretty easily. Right now I'm at December. Just make sure you change the months that you're looking at. Going down to the 21st, I can see that the sun rises at 7.21 a.m., it sets at 4.26 p.m., and the daylight duration is this third column here, 9 hours and 5 minutes. Okay. I went ahead and wrote down all this information on a separate sheet of paper, so I don't have to click back and forth between the tabs. So I wrote everything down and then just transferred it to the data table here. All right, so entering the sunrise information is actually pretty easy. So that was 721. You just hit enter and it'll pop up as 721 or 7 in the morning. For the sunset, you need to be a little bit careful. So the sunset at 426 p.m. So if I just go ahead and type in 426 and hit enter, notice it doesn't say p.m., it says a.m. Okay, so there's two ways you can fix this issue. So you can just go ahead and change that to PM, that's fine. Alternatively, if you don't want to fix that every single time, you can enter in what's known as military time, or a 24 hour clock. 426 is the same thing as 1626. If you type in the military time, hit enter, notice that it, it automatically comes in as PM. It's coded for the afternoon. Right. Last piece of data to enter here is the daylight duration. That was nine hours and five minutes. Okay. So, having done all the data for Catskill, if you scroll down to the bottom of this page, okay, you should see this column of data or this set of data over here. You shouldn't have to touch any of this. All of it should auto-populate for you. It's the way I set up the spreadsheet. So as you enter in this data, it'll populate down here, and this is where the data is coming from for this graph. So the graph to the right, you guys can see there's three lines on it already plotted. It's plotting the data for Russia, Ecuador, and this research station, which is in Antarctica. Okay. So you can see the lines here represent daylight durations throughout the year. Blue is going to be the station from Russia. Red is Quito, Ecuador. And then... The yellow orange color is the research station in Antarctica. Right. So the whole purpose of this is to actually get three more lines on this graph. And I want to show you how you do that. So first you click on the graph, then you're going to click these three dots in the upper right hand corner. Click on edit chart. So you're brought to the setup screen. Easiest way to do this, you just hit add series. It's going to ask you to select a data range click in this top cell that says Catskill or whatever city name you enter. Without unclicking, you're just going to drag. So you select all of this data and then you're going to hit OK. And you should see the line for Catskill here automatically pops up in the legend and it pops up on the graph. Okay? If you want to change the color, so that green is a little bit um, obnoxious looking to me, so let's say I want to make that a darker green. We go to Edit Chart, hit Customize, we go to Series, and we pick Catskill. If I want to change the color to make it, let's say, dark green number two, there we go. 
right? So there's all sorts of things you can do to customize your graph. It's not necessary, but I want to make sure that you're aware of it. And I understand that this is very likely the first time or one of the first times you're using Google Sheets. So take this as a learning experience, mess around. You can't break this. Um, so you learn by doing more than anything else. All right, just something to note. With the data here, I'm just going to show you how it auto-populates. So let's just say we have uh, 12 hours, 13 hours, 14 hours, 15 hours, etc. Just to show you that it automatically popped up here. Right? And again, if you want to add that data to the chart, edit chart, add series, this is all the data I want here. Hit OK. And it, the legend has no name because we didn't type in a name here. So if I were to type in, let's just say Brooklyn, which is not true, Brooklyn's going to pop up in that cell. It's also going to pop up in the legend. All right, as we added more data to the upper portion of the spreadsheet, this line would populate and fill out automatically. All right, so if you guys have any other questions, please let me know. I'm here to help you guys. Hopefully this is a worthwhile project. Good luck.